everybody! Today I'm joining you with this glowy bronze goddess type makeup look. Um, I really like this kind of a look for summertime. I personally like these kinds of tones on my skin. Gonna be taking you uh, step by step, start to finish for the full face. And along the way, you know, mentioning and using some of my favorite bronzy type products. I've got a few great multitasking things that kind of carry over from the cheeks and the face to the eyes. And I think that's always nice when you're going for that low maintenance eye look anyway. And that really is kind of the look we're going for. Even though we did put a little work into this look, you know, I want it to be the kind of thing that just looks good out in person, in nature, in regular broad daylight, as opposed to something that really only looks good under super bright lights or on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed the look and here we go. <laughs> So first things first, I moisturized, I applied my eye cream, and I used my Benefit um, Specialist Dream Screen SPF 45. I talked about this in a um, Best in Beauty video maybe a couple months ago, and it's got a very like silky, um, almost primer-like feel to the skin, so it is kind of a nice step if my moisturizer doesn't contain SPF. Then we're going to move on to foundation. Today I thought I'd use the Shea Moisture Weightless Shea Serum Foundation. One of my favorites, love the natural look that it gives, and the natural feel. It's very, very lightweight. So I'm going to put a pump right here on my hand. I have this in the shade Nude. And you can apply this any number of ways. I really like um, applying very thin foundations like this with a dense brush. I just really enjoy the application I get. Lots of coverage to this product, but not a lot of heavy feel. So that's good. And I think this foundation has a very natural looking finish on the skin. Um, it was in my foundations that don't look like foundations video. It, you know, sometimes I look at my skin when I've got it on, I can see just a little bit of glow that my skin is picking up, but it doesn't look artificial. It doesn't look like, you know, that's because there are particles of shimmer in this or anything like that. It just, I don't know, it seems to come about naturally. It blends out very easily. One pump is ample for the entire face, for sure. I think a lot of different skin types could get away with using this foundation just because the nature of the product is so lightweight, but I think normal to dry skin it might be best suited for. Ah! Now I want to do just a little bit of corrector. I'm using my Benefit Erase Paste in medium. Um, this has a really nice peachy color, in case you're not familiar, and I'm just going to dab this a little bit in my dark caverns right there on the side of the nose. That's where I really need it most right now. Um, I do feel like the foundation provides some coverage over, you know, other little areas where I might have some discoloration, but I'm just going to take it all around here. And then this is my Beauty Blender Micro Mini, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm just going to dab that over the product. Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I'll grab for this. I do love the way that fits right in that little spot, and it just feels so gentle. It really almost feels more gentle than my fingers when I use this in this area. Now I'm going to do a little bit of brightening, and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Neutralizer. And um, this kind of follows the theme of lightweight products on the skin because I feel like this product, oops, <laughs> doesn't have a lot of weight to it. It's very, very thin, but it can pack a punch in terms of brightening. So I'm going to go kind of under the eye. I just went down the nose as well. Really kind of focus on lifting this whole section here right on top of the cheek. Another thing I like about this color is that it's lighter than my skin tone, but not by like multiple shades. The goal for this look is for the skin to look glowy and bronze, but not too like done up, you know? So I don't want to go too far with like the heavily highlighted and contoured look. But there are some places that it's just more flattering to brighten, so that's what I'm doing here. And then since the Micro Mini is the dampened beauty blender of the day, I'm going to dab this all around. Just give that a nice soft blend. I slept so good last night. I woke up this morning and I thought, what day is it? Like, what time of year is it? <laughs> Do you ever have those mornings where, like, you were just in such a deep sleep, you can't even, like, place yourself on, you know, what's happening in my life right now? I don't know. I just slept so well. I'm surprised I didn't come in here with, like, actual sheet creases on my face for this tutorial. Because I slept hard. Okay. 
we have foundationed, we have corrected, and we have brightened the skin. And now I just want to do a little light setting. And um, one new loose powder, I'm kind of loving trying all these different loose powders. One that I'm using now is from Clinique, and it's the number 20 Invisible Blend. It says blended face powder, and it did come with a little like retractable brush too. But um, interesting thing about this powder, like you know how sometimes you get a loose powder that's brand new and full, and it's like you've really got to tap it into the cap? This, like I first did that, but it is so fine. It's such a finely milled powder. It like poured out of its little holes like water practically. It was crazy. And I'm like, okay, no tapping necessary there. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of this on my e.l.f. Uh, small tapered brush. And I'm just going to dab this on the under eye to set everything there. And this truly, this powder, I've tried to lay it on thick a time or two so far, and it, it really is invisible, like you just can't see it. Beyond the under eyes, I would say only set the areas where you really feel like you're gonna need it. So for me, I'm gonna set a little bit on the nose and the side of the nose, a little bit up in this zone, and then just a bit on my chin. My chinny chin chin, and then that will be it. Really don't want to be over powdered for this look, and I've got a lot of powder bronzer coming your way. Because I am using the Lorac Take Me to Tantigo <laughs> little palette here. Love the names. We've got Tan Antonio, Tan Diego, Cabo Tan Lucas, and Tanta Cruz. So four different shades of bronzer. Those top two in typical Lorac fashion are matte, and the bottom two are shimmery. So um, yeah, I'm going to be using a variety of these shades. I've been having fun kind of bouncing around with these. I'm going to be using a couple as eyeshadows, and it's just going to be fun. So talking contouring for a second, like I said, I don't want it to be in the category of slaved over. I want it to just look like it naturally appeared. So I'm going to be using a little bit bigger brush that won't be quite so precise with everything, and I'm going to bounce a little bit between these two shades, the Tan Antonio and the Tan Diego. And I'm just gonna lightly sweep this in the hollow of the cheek area, just for a little depth there. This brush is so multifaceted because you can kind of use it um, lengthwise, see how it's a little bit longer there because the ferrule is pinched. You can use it that way to really lay down product. And then once you feel like you've gotten all the product on, you can just kind of buff it. And I'm going to do that same kind of bouncing between those two shades and go around my hairline. So really enjoying these bronzer colors. Um, I like the matte and shimmer options in one. I also like that the light bronzers actually do still show up. They're not so light that it's like, well, why was that in there? Everything is capable of making some sort of an impact. And I've got a big like zit under the surface here. I don't know if you can see, but it's like it, it, it's just plotting its next move. It's one of those zits where, no, it can't even just instantly make the appearance. It's it's the slow burn type of zit. I'm gonna take some of the Ten Diego shade. Sorry, I cannot say these words in a, like a normal voice. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take that down here on the neck, uh, really tackle the jawline with that color, and get it all up in this area. And I may even take a little bit on the shoulders, you know, why not? Always fun to do your right shoulder with your right hand. <laughs> Now that we've kind of laid the bronzy foundation, we've done the workhorse bronzing slash contouring, now we're going to do the glow. And I'm going to use Cabo Tan Lucas for that. So that would be more of the golden-y bronze that does have a little shimmer. And the shimmer in these um, glowy type shades isn't too extreme either. This I'm going to like kind of cross over my entire forehead, not really making any effort to contour. I mean, I just kind of want this shade to be like the veil that goes over everything. Right on the top of my cheeks, I'm hitting down the nose the chin. Now we will be coming back to this palette because I will be using it on the eyes too. One of my favorite blushes to really mesh with an overall bronzy look is from Too Faced and it's the Pink Leopard and that's because it's like a pinky bronze. Um, there is a lot of pink in this blush but there's also a lot of neutral that ends up getting mixed in when you um, apply it to your brush and I just love the glow. It's not too intense, but it's so, like, just right. It almost gives your cheeks the appearance of, like, yes, I was just outside in the sunshine. And last but not least, for the face, we're going to highlight. 
And this is my uh, Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. This is in the shade Vegas Strip. I also really like this one. This is called Waikiki Strip. Um, it's the Peachy Glow Bronzer, and this is called the Light Bronzer. Um, I think of them both kind of like highlights. This one gets a little bit darker, and um, you know, it can do a lot if you're using these different shades as eyeshadows, but it doesn't get quite as light for the highlighting. This palette, I think I said this in another video, but when you mix all these shades together, it can be a very similar look to um, Becca's Champagne Pop. But I'm going to mainly focus on the top of this palette with my Up and Up highlighter brush, and I'm just going to sweep this right on top of the cheekbones. And I chose this particular highlight for the amount of kind of goldeniness, <laughs> goldeniness that it has. Um, I think it just really works well for the bronzed look. And I'm going to take a little bit of this just down the nose. That always kind of makes the whole face look like, okay, yeah, it's not just the cheekbones that look fresh. And I like to kind of go just above this eyebrow area. Gives a little glow when that zone catches the light. Not up to the zit, though. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put a bit on the Cupid's bow area. Again, I'm just sticking to the like the top two shades in this in the strips. And then since we have just used a bunch of different powdery textures, I'm going to use a setting spray. This is the Hydrating Floral Essence from Tata Harper that came in that little multi-pack from Sephora, the Sephora Favorites set for skincare. And before I move on to eyes, I'm going to put on a little bit of lip oil. This is the Milani Moisturizing Almond Cocoa. I like to put on a little bit of this to kind of get the lips um, feeling a little hydrated before whatever lip product I put on. Really nice hydrating treatment, these little lip oils. For the eyes, I'm going to do just a little brow touch-up with my ColourPop Dope Taupe Pencil. This is still, still ticking, <laughs> still got product in there, even though I feel like I have to twist it up every single time that I use it, because it is kind of a creamy skinny pencil. It's just a really nice natural tone considering that I don't need to do a full-on recreation of a brow. I'm just filling in a few key areas and I don't need a ton of color to do that. I just very lightly touch up the few little zones where I need it. And then I'm getting the last little bit out of this e.l.f. wet gloss lash and brow. I swear it's just got the tiniest bit left. This needs to head to the empties bin after this. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of Milani eyeshadow primer first. Just a tiny dab will do ya between both of the eyes. Just dab it on the lids and then pull it up through the crease and up under this whole zone. Then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out my tan uh, take me to Tantigo palette, and I'm going to use some of this lightest shade in the crease with an E25. This is Tan Antonio, in case anybody forgot. <laughs> and just gently, lightly giving myself a little natural definition in the crease. This whole look is really kind of inspired by what I was wearing in that Sephora Favorites video. Um, I used a lot of products in the Sephora Favorites bronze kit, but the overall look was just glowy, light, really, you know, lightweight, product and just kind of that outdoorsy natural vibe. Next I'm going to bounce over to my Physicians Formula highlight and I'm going to take my lightest shades and dab that on my lids. This is my Sonia Kashuk medium shadow brush that I'm using here and hitting the tear duct with those colors too. Also I think I'll just very lightly um, go up under the brow with those also. And then last little eyeshadow type step here, I'm going to Tanta Cruz, which is your deep kind of brownish uh, contour with a little bit of shimmer. And I want to use this in my outer corner. Just deepening it up a little bit. It's still not going to look like crazy overdone, but just give it a little depth for an outer V. Blend over the edges. See, it's not too dark, but it's just a little, I don't know, gives a little something. And I could not love this uh, little Makeup Academy 315 crease brush anymore. I mean, this is great for putting uh, colors in a more concentrated spot on the eye. Everybody needs a small crease brush, particularly if you have small eyes and you feel like your shadows look muddy a lot. Um, larger brushes can kind of misplace the shadow on your eyes if your eyes are really small. So 
This is great to have. I got it from CVS. I think I spent $8 on it and it's just perfect. And just blend over that side as well. And that same shade, I'm picking it up on a pencil brush and I'm gonna go a little bit here under the eye. Wouldn't call this a smoky eye by any means, but we're just, you know, defining the eye a little bit down here. And then I feel like my lower lash line is looking a little bit pink, so I grabbed, oh, I thought I grabbed Milani. I grabbed the Jordana one, um, the Continuous Almond. They're basically the same thing. Um, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that nude color in the lower inner rim. And then the last time I did a bronzy look, I really liked the way this liner looked. It was the um, Smashbox Always Sharp in Penny Lane. So if you've got any kind of like dark bronzy brown eyeliner that you want to use, I'm just like using it to kind of thicken the look of the lash line a little bit. And these Smashbox liners are so cool, these Always Sharp ones, because when you twist the cap off, you get a nicely pointed tip every time. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. I've got my little dynamic duo here for mascara. I use the Supersizer, just the original Supersizer is my favorite for upper lashes, particularly if I am not going to be putting on any false lashes. I really like what this does for my eyelashes. So I'm gonna apply that up top and then I'll do um, clump crusher on the bottom, which um, I just really like how it defines lower lashes. I like how it stays on the lower lashes. And it's not a tutorial if I don't have to reach for a Q-tip at some point in time. And I'm just going to curl the other side and repeat those steps. Lips for this look, um, I think a nude lip lo does look really pretty. Um, I had kind of a nude lip going the last time I did this sort of look, but I kind of like even better um, the your lips but better type of shade on the lips because it looks even more natural. This is the L'Oreal Glossy Balm in Lovely Mocha. Love this kind of color. It's got a little bit of shine to it. It just, I don't know, perfect low maintenance color. And then if you really want to have some fun, you can like dip back into your little physician's formula and kind of dab in the center of the lip. Yes, I know it's powder. Sort of mush your lips together and you get this nice little glowiness happening there. So the look is all complete. Um, again, just really love working with these tones this time of year. Um, bronzers and highlights are so multi-purpose. Don't think that you can only use them on your cheeks or in your contour or your forehead. Um, they can definitely translate to the eyes and make beautiful eyeshadows. But I do really look forward to sporting this look throughout the summer because I do think it, it does look good in person. You know, somebody could be sitting in front of you and thinking, wow, you know, that looks like good skin. I feel like the products we used weren't too heavy and where we did use glow, we did it kind of, you know, strategically in the most flattering places. So um, I hope you enjoyed this look. It was a lot of fun for me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!